what's up guys so today's episode i'm gonna be putting a wing that isn't really for this car on this car so right here guys this is a um liberty walk wing for an r35 gtr um, here's a picture of how it looks on the car pretty common wing you know the cliche swan neck liberty walk and voltex are the only other one that really make the swan neck wings for the r35 gtr chassis i actually got this car with the r8 this was originally on the r8 i think it looked horrible i don't know but I figured I could use it for something. Not best condition, but this is a, still a full carbon fiber deck, bottom and top, and end plates. Um, the stands, as you can see, are pretty sun faded. Um, I'm probably just gonna focus on just putting them on today, but in a future episode, or who knows, maybe in this episode, I will probably just take these off and sand them down and just, you know, spray them matte black and bring them back a little bit. I'm gonna be mounting this wing on the S2000, just because I think the S2000 is a car that really deserves sort of a, I don't know how to explain it, a big wing, especially with the Amuse wide body and the hard top, especially it needs like a big wing. It's just one of those chassis that always needs a big wing when it has like a wide body on it. Uh, I will be taking this duck bill off this small piece. I'll probably just do that first. Uh, worry about that first. I think it's just like a bolt on this side, bolt on that side. Since we're still going to be painting this thing, I will most likely also shave the holes. And then just a small uh, update for the R8. I am actually going to be trading this entire full carbon fiber wide body thing for a full OEM gray body. Why? Because I put this up for $6,000 and an OEM body is about worth that much and it'll be way easier to sell because as you guys know so many people are buying totaled r8s nowadays because they're getting really cheap and you know they're going to need quarter panels front bumper rear bumper hood rear bumper etc and i have all those things along with i actually still have the uh, oem black front bumper and i have another quarter panel so i have almost like seven to eight thousand dollars worth of oem parts once this once this trade is completed and that's what i'll be using money wise to get the uh, race body from poland hardware from my little Harbor Freight hardware kit and rib nuts. Um, I've been using rib nuts a lot on the R8 and I actually really like them when they don't pop out, but they're really good for securing because you don't have to worry about putting a nut on the other side or anything like that. So I'll see how it works. If I find out that they're popping out too much, it's not a big issue. I'll just add a nut and washer on the other side. Just a small update for you guys. My GoPro battery died, but um, all I really did was fix the wing type thing. Um, I didn't show this to you guys, but besides the bad condition of this, there's kind of a front bracket to this wing that's held in with a rivet, and this one was basically broken. The carbon was actually like, the rivet ripped a hole bigger in the carbon. Um, so luckily I have a ton of rivets and a ton of rivet guns, because that's all I use to build the M3. Um, and I used the giant rivet and I just basically bored out this hole on this little bracket, used the bigger rivet, so now that's attached because before this was actually flopping. Um, 
Soggy thing about this wing being so expensive, it's like two or three thousand dollars, is it has literally zero pitch adjustment, which is like absolutely a joke in my opinion for a car that expensive. Um, Cause even like basic APR wings have like full pitch adjustment. But um, also I was able to um, find that uh, I have actually M6. I remember how I broke the other one. I forgot what, it was an Imperial size, but uh, I do have an M6 one, which is the same thing, just diff slightly different threading, but it's the same size bolt. So I found two M6 bolts and I put two M6 rib nuts in here. I was trying to be careful not to break the thing because this really does break easily. What I found out with the metal at least. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the wing on now basically and secure it with the four bolts. So yeah, what do you guys think about that? Uh, it looks pretty good. As you guys can see, the stands are not flat right here in the back. And that is something I can fix pretty easily. Now guys, I finally did the back mounts. And as you can see, they're pretty much flat. I think that's a, that's pretty good to say that the mounts are flat a lot better than they were before. Obviously, it dents the middle right here a little bit to make it flat, but that's fine because even the Voltex one does that. Um, but now it's way more secure side to side and up and down still does the trunk thing but like super super secure this back bolt right here did a huge difference color wise and thinking white i don't know uh leave a comment down below what you would like to see this color i would love to do some crazy pop color but that's really not the goal of this car the goal of this car is just make it very standard and clean which will hopefully help it help it sell and everything like that just because you know you don't want to do some crazy crazy livery or color because that'll make it sell like that'll That'll kind of prevent it from selling so easily, so I'm not really sure what color is going to be done. I was thinking a white, but at the same time, I was honestly just thinking like a silver, the exact silver it is right now, only because I don't feel like dealing with all the door jams and the inside of the doors and the inside of the hood and inside of the engine bay. Um, so I really don't know. White is definitely the easiest because especially when I'm painting inside this garage, if I get any dust in the paint, it won't show as much with white because usually you like white is a good color to hide stuff black of course being like the hardest thing ever to paint because you see everything so we'll see yeah that's pretty much it i mean it's it's on it looks pretty good it's just hard to look at this car because of the coloring and all that stuff but um tomorrow i have another day off so tomorrow I expect another video which is probably going to be doing body work because i still do have to round out those flares and make the rear overs good and still don't know what color to paint. Like I said, leave a comment down below. I, I really don't want anything crazy. The less money I can spend on paint, the better it is for me. Because when I sell this, like half of the money is going to go into this thing for the LMS kit. Half of it is going to be spent on like a diesel truck of some sorts to tow this around the country or go on adventures or whatever I feel like doing realistically. So we'll see, but don't, you know, don't be sad. This isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Still going to have this for a solid month or two and do a lot more videos of driving it and whatnot. I just need to focus on doing body work. Sadly, body work is probably where I get the most lazy just because it, it really is time consuming. And it takes a good amount of effort. Then on Saturday, I am uh, taking this R8 to Cars and Coffee. So maybe I'll record that, but then we are going house shopping. Cause yeah, we're uh, this lease for the house we're in is over in December, um, so we're deciding to buy a house because we already got pre-approved and everything. So chances are we're going to be living a little bit more on the outskirts than we already are, but we're probably going to get like two, three, four acres of land, which is a lot of land, um, mainly to build like a giant shop in the backyard that can be air conditioned and stuff. So in the summer I can work on cars and I can have a lift and a paint booth and all this stuff you know all in my backyard which I think would be really great for videos and just in general it would help me build nice cars in the future whatever cars that might be but I'm gonna end the video here thanks so much for watching guys like I said please do leave comment down below for paint I'm not doing a livery 
I know someone's going to suggest a livery. I'm not doing a livery simply just because of the fact that it will make it a little bit harder to sell. Just simple, clean colors, preferably. But anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll uh, see you in tomorrow's episode.